Hello guys, and today we are here with another episode of the Gaming Review because I was um inspired by some of your wonderful support that you have given me, like 15 subscribers within a day. My mind is blown by how much how many subscribers I have now, and I'm very happy. So, um that's just an acknowledgement. I have 15 now, and I'm happy for my fans who decided to support me. So, um, we are going to take a look at the, at, um, this vehicle. It, like, is something that looks super futuristic. It's supposed to be a fire truck, because you can see the fire abilities up here. And you can look inside of it. So, um, we are going to go inside and take a look at, um, everything in it. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's a door code. I think it's 8567 or something like that. Nope, I'm gonna have to find its description on Steam. All right, it was eight five something. Oh yeah, this is the uh, vehicle. If you have this game and want to take a look, eight five nine two. It is eight five nine two. Eight five nine two. Great! Yay! Okay, now we have... I just got knocked back pretty far from that door. It just, like, crushed me. I got squeezed. So, there's a little monitor right here. Um, also, they added a new mainland, which is where I'm at today. And, um... Let me put on some fire gear so I don't get burnt to death. So, I'm gonna hop in the driver's seat. I'm gonna turn on ignition. up. Oh. There's battery button, battery button, battery button, battery button, battery button. Where's that battery button? Hmm. Is it there? Is it there? Is it there? Is it in my hotkeys? No. Hmm. I don't have voice chat, so I have no need for any of this loudspeaker stuff. Maybe it's back here. There we go. Power up. Power up. We are powered up. Let's get back in the seat. Engage our engines. And look how cool this thing is. Look how cool my guy looks inside. Um, we have our parking brake on. Nope. And we are gonna go. We're gonna turn. And then we're gonna drive out to the coastal areas. To take a look at this thing's water abilities and we are going to have fun with it so um i guess i'll see you guys when i hit the water so we finally made it to the water after about five minutes of driving and um it's pretty cool in water it's basically just like a car and then like this back portion opens up and throws out some propellers or something like that and then you have water capabilities, which is pretty cool. And now I can go all the way across without taking the road path and waste fuel. And I can drive up to the beach, kind of like some boat that there is in this game. That like you drive up to the beach and then it opens up like a little chute and the people come out. So, um... It's a pretty cool vehicle. Um, 
Let me turn up the cruise control speed, and then we'll go on the back. So there is a, there is some winter gear, there is some scuba equipment, there is some diving equipment, there's medical beds, there's seats for if you're playing with friends, there's um, stuff that tells you what to do, stuff that tells like engine things, there's some bilge palms, switch to reverse main battery, lock doors, things like that, so if you don't want people getting it. Um, and that's really relatively it. Um, it tells you stuff about fuel. There's a map over here. There's your fuel stats, your cruise control, your engine RPMs, and your speed. Ugh. Get in the chair. I mean, get in the... Um, we're going to go up here. We're going to go out of water mode. We're going to go and going to go back into water mode. We're going to go in. We're going to... We're trying to get up here. So, yeah, that's really it for this. Um, I don't really think there's, like, a beach that can go up. Ooh, fishies. Look, there's a fishy. Um... There's some fishies. So, um, that's really it for this, um, thingy. Um, remember to subscribe and like and give me feedback if you are watching this. And, um, um, and we'll see you guys next time on another Stormworks or anything else. Yeah.